love buds. It's a Yetta, and I'm here at the Laurel Day Festival. Going to check out some vendors here, get some good food. Matter of fact, if you turn around, like those chips are calling my name. <laughs> with Sade from Emily's Bath and Body about the products they have here on Main Street. So, first question Sade, who is Emily? Emily is my great grandmother, well not great grandmother, my greatest grandmother. I have several grandmothers um, and she just really inspired me to going back to making my own products. I had really bad eczema and for the life of me I could not get rid of it. I tried prescriptions, I've tried over-the-counter things and it just wasn't working. So she just taught me how to make my own body butter and I kind of expanded from there. The rest is history. Nice. Okay, so how long have you been making your product? About two years. Two years. Okay, and tell me, if you could be an animal, what animal would you be and why? Mm, I would say an elephant. Yes. They're very intelligent and for the fact that their memory is just always there. I want to remember every aspect of life. So I would like to have the memory of an elephant. Okay, so tell me about your favorite product today. Um, I would have to say that my favorite product is the body butter because I had the eczema and now I don't have any more patches, I don't have any more black spots. Um, it's also 100% organic. I use organic um, shea butters, cocoa butter, coconut oil, and avocado oil inside my um, body butter. And we fluctuate the ingredients between the hotter months and the colder months to go along with the temperature in terms of like how your body reacts. Because your, your body has a season for everything. Some seasons, it may be a little bit hotter, so it may not need as much coconut oil, or it may not need as much cocoa butter. So just fluctuating um, the different ingredients per the seasons. That's why I like it, and I sell it unscented. Um, but if you order it online at emilysbathandbody.com, you can also um, request to have a scent added to your body butter if you like. Thank you so much, Ade. You're welcome. Thank you. with Marvin of Bami Products and I'm going to ask him a few questions about what he does for this company. So, Marvin, do you make the products here? Yes, I make most of the products and my mom makes the soap and uh, she's been making them over uh, 18 years now. And uh, yeah, so we, we've been coming to the Law Street Festival for about, uh, I guess, about 10 years. Wow. Okay, so how did you come up with the name Bami? Well, it's an acronym. It's my mom, she's Bernadette, my sister's Alicia, I'm Marvin, and my younger brother's Aniko. Oh, nice. So it's a family business. Everybody contributes to product making? Uh, at different points in time, you know, <laughs> sometimes we fall off, but um, for the most part, we all support the products and, uh, you know, sell at various places from time to time. Okay. So which of these products is your favorite product, Marvin? I I'd say the dirt soap is probably my favorite product. Tell me about it. Okay. The dirt soap is, um, it's a pumice soap and, um, it slushes off the dead skin and stimulates new growth. A lot of people like it because of the benefits from the clay. Um, the pumice slushes off the dead skin, has rasul clay, dead sea mud, black seed oil, and then vitivir and patchouli essential oils. And then it has this layered with the vitivir and patchouli so that you smell it once, you smell the patchouli. But then when you smell it the second time, you smell a vitivir, which is relaxing, it's, it's, it's calming. Very nice. So what inspired you and your family to start making products? Well, my mom, uh, because of the medication for my diabetes, she started making lotions and stuff for herself. And um, people started to ask her what, what scent did she have on. You know, she was just making a bummy scent for herself. And people would smell it, you know, and smell, her, smell the elevator after she got out of it. And, you know, people follow her into the market, asking her what she has on. And, you know, it kind of grew from there. Awesome. Now, one final personal question. If you were to have a movie made about your life, who would play you in that movie? Uh, Denzel. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>